Hey math learners, this is Mr. Marks, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. Now today's problem is a great example of thinking abstractly or outside of the box. But first, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is an often dreaded word problem. But word problems don't have to be so overwhelming. What do you say we tackle this problem together one step at a time? First, let's read the problem's instructions. Doubling a rectangle sides. The length and width of a rectangle are doubled. How do the perimeter and area of the new rectangle compare with the perimeter and area of the original rectangle? Illustrate your answer. So the term illustrate tells us we're gonna be doing a little bit of drawing, but exactly what are we being asked to draw and why? Let's first start breaking down this problem by drawing a plain old rectangle. And let's just give it a plain old length of two and a width of one. Now our instructions say the length and width of a rectangle are doubled. How can we illustrate or draw that? Let's draw a second rectangle with length and width doubled. So this second rectangle will have length double two or four and the width will be double of one or two. Okay, we have a set of example rectangles here. And now we were tasked with comparing perimeters and areas. Let's take a note of them. Remember, perimeter is the length around the shape and area is the square units in the interior. Our first rectangle has a perimeter of two plus one plus two plus one or six units and an area of length two multiplied by width one or two square units. Our second rectangle has a perimeter of four plus two plus four plus two or 12 units and an area of length four multiplied by width two or eight square units. All right, take a moment and step back. Do you see the relationship between the perimeters? What about the areas? Let's start with the perimeters. It appears the new rectangle's perimeter is double that of the original rectangle's perimeter. Let's write down this conjecture. And what about the area? Well, it appears that the new rectangle's area is quadruple or four times that of the original rectangle's area. Let's make note of that and complete our conjecture. Wow, it looks like we've done it. We've illustrated our thinking with proper labeling and we've answered the question, all while showing our work all along the way. Now I'd like to leave you with this final challenge. How do you think we did here? How could we prove ourselves differently? Are there other ways to write our solutions? Let me know down in the comments. Props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along and if you made mistakes, that's great. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. This is Mr. Mark signing off. I'll see you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math related content. Until next time, 